Hey what's up guys, it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, today's video is another one where I get someone to control my life for the day. I filmed one of these a couple weeks ago where I got my best friend Charlotte to control my day and it was really fun and kind of different for my channel. So I figured I would do it again because after I uploaded that video, loads of my family members were messaging me saying that they wanted to do it next. So today my life is in the hands of my brother and sister-in-law, which I'm so nervous about because anyone who has an older brother knows that they're gonna be susceptible to bullying and I know my brother is gonna make this so hard on me. Like, he already has, it's 7.30 in the morning, I'm so tired. He's also the one that motivates me to work out even when I'm feeling really lazy, so I feel like he's gonna give me a really hard workout today, but I guess we'll see. So they sent me a couple of voice notes that I had to listen to last night. So I think I'm supposed to listen to the first voice note the night before I film this video and I plan on filming it tomorrow so I'm going to listen to it now. Hi Kieran. Hello Kieran. <laughs> We're super excited to plan your day tomorrow and we hope you enjoy it. Yes. Queen. <laughs> That's so weird. So we based the schedule for today on a nice Saturday cheat day. So Ooh, first, that sounds before good. you go to bed this evening, please set your alarm for 7.30am because... There's no such thing as a rest day on cheat day. Who sets their alarm for 7.30 in the morning if it's supposed to be a cheat day? That's so early. I swear I started off quarantine so well. I was waking up between 7 and 8 and then as self-isolation has continued, it's just become later and later every single day and I've become so lazy, but I feel like this is going to kick my ass back into gear. So I'm going to set my alarm now. 7.30. Great. Can't wait. So I didn't end up falling asleep last night till like 1am and I did set my alarm for 7.30 but a couple snoozes later it's now about 8am. That's not too bad. It's still way earlier than I've been waking up in quarantine so I'm feeling very rough right now but I figured I'd just listen to the first voice note of the day now and see what I'm supposed to do. Now that you're up nice and early, brush your teeth get ready, drink a pint of water, yeah, I've done and check that. your Instagram. Nikki has sent you a Kira workout. It's roughly an hour, probably around an hour and 10 minutes, and it's going to be painful. Enjoy. Did I literally just say he was gonna make me do a hard workout? Okay, so my sister sent me two IGTV workouts, so I guess I'm just gonna get on with it. Okay, so I'm gonna listen to the next voice note before I go upstairs, mainly because I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it up the stairs. Congratulations for finishing the workout, good job. <laughs> Gee, so thanks. now, shower and get ready for the day, and then I've sent you a recipe for our favourite banana oat pancakes, yes. um, okay. with a topping of your choice, so we would recommend Nutella, and then also, if you have watermelon, put it in your Nutribullet, um, with a few cubes of ice and some water for a watermelon refreshing smoothie type drink. Okay, that sounds really nice. They're making up for that horrible workout. I got Nikki to send me a list of like ingredients that I might need for any recipe she wanted me to make. So I do have watermelon and I love watermelon, so that sounds really nice. So I'm gonna go shower up and get ready like she said, and then I will make my pancakes. Oh. 
Sounds good. Okay, so I just showered up and got ready. This is my outfit of the day. Harry calls this my button perk outfit, lol. But it's so comfortable. And um, both the sweater and shorts are from Misguided, so I can link that down below. But anyway, I'm gonna go make my pancakes now because it's like 10 a.m. and I'm absolutely starving. And here is the finished product. They actually smell so good. I was surprised at how well they cooked because I've never done banana pancakes before because I'm always worried they're just gonna fall apart. But I just topped it with some agave syrup and some chopped up strawberries. And here I've got my watermelon smoothie, which actually tastes incredible. It reminds me of like being on holiday or traveling. So I'm just gonna eat this and then I'll listen to the next voice note. So usually what I do on a Saturday after having some brekkie is have a bit of pamper time. So put on Aww. an episode of whatever you want to watch. I know you're watching Grey's Anatomy at the moment, so put that on and paint your nails or put on a face mask um, and relax and enjoy. Okay, so that's perfect. I'm gonna finish my pancakes while watching some Grey's Anatomy and then I can't paint my fingernails because I'm gonna start working in the hospital in a couple of weeks and obviously I can't have nail polish on so I might paint my toes and do a face mask and just chill out. That sounds like a good plan. Also on a side note, these pancakes are really nice. <laughs> make side salads, fruits, etc. But yeah. also order yourselves something. Yes. Whatever okay. you guys fancy, our recommendation and what we'd like you to get is a lovely old pizza. And then once everything's ready, the pizza's arrived, head out and enjoy the sun, enjoy long walks. Nice. And we hope you enjoy. Oh, that's actually such a nice thing to plan for this afternoon. I just want to point out how funny I think it is that everybody that's controlled my day so far has told me to get a pizza as if like everyone knows I just love pizza. But unfortunately Harry and I did order pizza a couple of days ago and I don't know about him but I don't really feel like pizza so they did say pick whatever you want and then they recommended pizza so I'm thinking they won't mind if we order something else like burgers or something. I think that's such a nice idea, it's such a nice day outside. The sun is shining, blue skies, I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna quickly get changed because I'm not wearing my Battenberg outfit for a picnic and then we'll sort out all the food we're gonna take, order our main meal and yeah, oh, I'm so excited, that's such a nice thing to plan. <laughs> Nick a couple of hours ago and it was literally so nice the weather is lovely today and I've got to say I think it's a genius idea ordering a takeaway and then taking it on a picnic it was so good and I basically annihilated my burger it was so good but anyway when we got back I just had a shower because it's so hot outside I just felt kind of gross and then I ended up falling asleep which I mean what can you expect when you tell me to wake up at 7 in the morning but Anyway, now it's kind of dinner time, so I'm hoping the next voice note is something to do with dinner. Okay, now um, you're back from your picnic and walk. Hope you had a good time and got to enjoy the great weather. Mm, I did. Um, we are 
suggesting that you make one of your favourite dishes for dinner, which is a huge plate of nachos <laughs> with lots of black <laughs> sour cream, cheese, jalapenos, jalapenos olives. olives, salsa. Salsa, and then I just say, I think it's really funny how everyone close to me knows that I love anything with cheese on it, and in particular, my favorites are nachos and pizza. So, I feel like anytime someone's controlling my day in like one of these videos, they always pick something that they know I will think of as a treat, like nachos or pizza. I just think it's funny, I think it speaks to my personality. Like, I try my best to be healthy, but they are my all time favorites. <laughs> Anyway, let's um, carry on. The film choice for this evening is a rather good one. Hmm. Uh, you'll find it on Netflix. Okay. I know my sister and there is way too much cockiness in her voice. It's like she knows that I'm going to hate what she's about to say and I'm pretty sure she's going to tell me to watch an Indian film. I hate watching Indian films. I don't know why it's a theme that everybody that controls my day picks a film that's in a different language. I don't like watching films with subtitles, I'm just lazy, I don't like reading and watching at the same time and I can just feel it coming, I just know it. And She it sounds way too happy. Dil Dharakne Thor. Yep, Indian film, knew it! So just a pre-warning, the film is rather long oh, so they always make are. sure you're well equipped with some good treaties of your choice. Okay, well, at least they said I can have some treats. Indian films are always, like, over three hours long. This is gonna be a long night. This is gonna be funny telling Harry that he's stuck watching an Indian film tonight. <laughs> Product. So we have homemade salsa, nacho cheese as well as grated cheese, jalapenos and sour cream and then on Harry's I've done everything the same except no sour cream because he doesn't like it. So we're going to eat these while we watch our Indian film. Can't wait. <laughs> Okay, so it's much later now and I'm basically ready for bed as you can see, but I know that there's one more voice note to listen to to end off the day, so I'm kind of hoping it's something to do with getting ready for bed, but I'm just going to listen to it now. Okay, so now it should be coming up to bedtime, so before bed uh, we would suggest that you light a candle um, or a couple of candles in your room and um, do a 10 to 15 minute uh, meditation just to get you in a sleepy mm. mood. And um, that's it. Good night. <laughs> She's so sweet. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I feel like that's quite a good idea to get me into the sleepy mood. So I've already got a candle going and I'm just going to pick out a meditation to do. Okay, so I just searched bedtime meditation on YouTube and I found this one to do before I sleep. So it's about 12 minutes. I'm just going to follow it through and Hopefully it's better than the one that Charlotte made me do because that was really funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Now let's keep our eyes open for the time being and let's take a big deep breath together. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. I just want to say a massive thank you to my brother and sister-in-law for sending me all of those voice notes and if you enjoyed this video then be sure to check out the other one I did when my best friend controlled my life for a day and definitely subscribe because I've got lots more people that want to do this and have been asking to control my life so I will probably be posting a lot more of these in the future but other than that I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!